United are planning a 50 million euro bid in January for getting Cody Gapko at Old Trafford. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, new team has come in and they're interested in him and they're willing even to pay cash. The United is willing to even go out and loan him out with an option to buy. Then lately, or lastly, we are going to talk about Aaron Wan-Bissaka not Aaron Bissaka. We're going to talk about Rafael Verani. He has missed out the French trading. Remember the video that I did lastly, I think our last video, I informed you how how Rafael Verani has contracted a virus that is really that is really not allowing him to step on the field of play. And that virus has affected close to five players of the French national team. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys? Rock and David is my name. And we are here to bring you the latest news and information as far as the United transfer targets are concerned. Smash the like button, comment and share. And don't forget to go in and really go into the lower right bottom corner. Smash the black button that has the word subscribe. And after smashing it, hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified every time we upload a video video onto our channel. Now, Cody Gapko is one of those that is on the ladder of Eric Ten Hag and he wants him badly. However, much the likes of Joe Felix have been offered to Manchester United, Ten Hag is in the lock of Cody Gapko interest. He doesn't want anything to stop the player from or to stop United from landing this player because very many teams have started to come in and show interest the likes of Liverpool, Real Madrid, there is Arsenal, there is Bayern Munich. There are very many teams, close to six or seven teams, they are interested. And those are, those are top tier teams. But there are these other teams like Everton, Leeds, Southampton, Newcastle. All those are interested in Cody Gapko. But we've been told today by Jet Bart of the Telegraph, I think it's known as Jason Bart, he has told us that Man United are planning a 50 million bid for Cody Gapko once the winter transfer window opens. Obviously, this is the amount of money that could move PSV to go on and convince them to sell the player. Remember, the CEO came out and said, if at all, a record-breaking bid, a record-selling bid of PSV is brought on the table for Cody Gapko, they'll release him and let him go. Obviously, they are even ready to let him go in, this, in the summer, meaning that even now, they know he has to leave. One of the things that are really forcing them to sell their best player, obviously, they are not in the Champions League. Secondly, they are not, they're not doing well in their books of accounts. They need some money in to see to it that their books of accounts balance in because they never, never were included into the Champions League where they used to make lots and lots of money and obviously their absentia has really caused them lots of problems because they are knocked out by Rangers and they went to the UEFA Europa League although they are really having a very good time there but that doesn't mean that they are making some good money in there because the moment you jet into the Champions League group stages at least you know that you're going to get in like 50 million pounds and for 50 million pounds for a team like PSG sorry PSV it's really good but Cody Gapko also wants Manchester United he doesn't want to go anywhere else he wants to join Eric Ten Hag his fellow Dutchman and obviously the United team is going to be like a destination of very many Dutch players right now we are having Malasia he's a Dutch player I think which other Dutch player do we have Danny Van Bink, you get, but he signed, he signed Isandro Martinez from El Divisi, uh, Anthony from El Divisi, and he wanted Julian Timber, though Julian Timber said no, but he's going in to bring in another third Dutch player at the club. And I think it would be very easy for Kod Gapko to cop in, reason being, the coach really knows him, and he obviously knows exactly what Ten Hag needs. Secondly, the atmosphere is already going to be laid for him well at Manchester United because of the three Dutch players that are already with him, Cody, that are already at Manchester United. That is Danny Van Bink and Tarell Malassia. Remember, Tarell Malassia has been with Cody Gapmo at the World Cup and they've been having some friendship talks as far as how is United because Cody Gapko knows it that his ideal destination is United and if at all he wants to go in and become successful, he has to go on and do the needful and join Manchester United. Even if, even though he has plans of playing for Barcelona, Real Madrid, or Bayern Munich, I think he also knows it in plan and his agent has given him the best advice that please, you have to first go to Manchester United, play there for three or four years. At around 26, 27, you can make your ideal move to either Barcelona or 
Real Madrid because you'll go on a record fee or on a record sale. Then secondly, you would have established yourself in the world market. And obviously his coach, Ruud van Nistelrooy, did the same thing. By the time he left PSV to join United, I think in 2000, 2001, he went in through a process. He had the idea of playing for Real Madrid. That's why when they came in through, he never really said no. He even pushed them off to go and join Real Madrid and United sold them eventually. But he knew, I'm a good striker, but I need to go out at a top team like Manchester United that welcomes talents like us that are really, that are really, that are really top, 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 top class and elevate us to world class such that the likes of Real Madrid really find us. So I think as he's the coach of Cody Gapko, he'll go on and really sit him down, lecture him on what he's supposed to be doing as far as this move is concerned. Cody Gapko, 23 years of age, scored three goals at the World Cup. He has, co he has been involved in close to 35 goals in 20, is it 30 matches now? So it shows you that he's really a quality player. So I believe Ten Hag is wanting this player and Cody Gapko also wants to join Manchester United. So United are planning a 50 million bid. Obviously, these are euros, they are not pounds, to sign Cody Gapko. And I believe at 50 million euros, if at all that is all in going in as cash, I believe we can get him in. Even if something else comes in through, we can negotiate it as add-ons. Even if they say 60 million euros, they can say, all right, we're giving you 50 million euros of cash, then 10 more will come in as add-ons. You see, let's use the Bruno way. Bruno came in at 65 million pounds at Manchester United, but United first paid 45, but this other 20 has been going there in bits. I believe we can go on and pay the money that way so that is Cody Gapko to Manchester United a bid of 50 million euros is being planned by Manchester United to launch an attack on teams like Real Madrid Liverpool and very many others that really want the Dutch that Eric Ten Hag has admired ever since he was at 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 Ajax because this man every time he found Eric Ten Hag he punished him and Eric Ten Hag was an admirer of this player so that is called Gapko for you and let's leave him at that and let's get into another huge story of this right back that came in at Manchester United from Crystal Palace at 50 million pounds. That was an absolute steal, steal by, by Crystal Palace from Manchester United because Crystal Palace capitalized on the ill negotiation skills of United and they made them pay 50 million pounds and now the player looks like his value is at 20 million pounds and a loss of 30 million pounds is supposed to be supposed to be accepted at the club and very soon after this one another loss they're supposed to accept is that of harry Maguire. reason being the manager is going to throw harry Maguire out of the team because very many other defenders are coming in through are like Twanzebe, they are fit to battle for the position of the central defense of the central defenders in manchester united now Manchester United, that is Aaron Bissaka, has not been used by Eric Ten Hag this season. He has only played eight minutes, and that was in the game of Liverpool. Now, having played only eight minutes in the game of Liverpool, that was the third game of the season, he has never played any game for Manchester United amidst him having injuries. But even when he returned when he's fully fit, the manager went in for an inverted right back called Tarell Malassia. That was an indicator to the board that I don't want this player. However much you are forcing me, you are forcing me to use him. I won't use him. I'd rather go on and use a left field player to play as a right back who is inverted. Now, we've been told by Charlotte Donka, football reporter for the Times. I know she was really working in for the Manchester Evening News and now she's at the Times. She has told us that United fullback Arwan Bissaka is one of a number of options Wolves are really looking at. She's not the only one. We are even we are even having Alex Crook coming in from Talk Sport telling us that Wolves want Arman Bisaka in January. He's not the only one. There is a third one. There is a third one also that is Grammy Bailey. Where is his tweet? Chadonka. Mm, there is another tweet. Where is that tweet? I think I'm missing out on it. I don't know how I'm missing out on it, but it's somewhere here. There are three people who have really gone ahead to see to it that they let us know about 
Aaron Bisaka. All right, let's go with this one. Grammy Bailey, transfer correspondent for 90 minutes more, has told us that United are willing to let Aaron Bisaka leave on loan with a view to a permanent deal. They are now, they've now made it clear to Aaron Bisaka that he can find a new club. And this is where they make it hard for the manager. When your club is having people who don't know how the game of football is, is supposed to be run, this is what you, these are the consequences that come along with this. Ten Hag told the board that I don't want Aaron Bissaka in the summer. And they told him, we're not going to bring a right back. You should improvise to find a way of developing him to turn into a player that is going to be useful to your squad. And he said no, and he has only played eight minutes. If at all, Aaron Bissaka was loaned to Crystal Palace, all West Ham, all Wolverhampton Wanderers by then, I believe he would have gone ahead to play close to 14 games in the Premier League and would have already been impressive and in the summer would have been expecting our money back at Manchester United like 20 or 25 million pounds. You get? So, that is what the board is doing that is really ugly. But finally, I'm happy to see to it that Armand Bissak has been told by the board that they, they, don't want in him, they don't need him anymore. He can find a new club. And obviously, one of the clubs that is interested in him is Wolverhampton Wanderers. And I'm so much happy to see to it that clubs are now piling up for the signature of Aaron Bissaka. Crystal Palace wants him, West Ham wants him, and now it's Wolverhampton Wanderers. Meaning that even the idea of a loan with an option to buy might even die out. A team will come out and say, oh, for me, I have money. I have cash. I have cash. Can I really can I really pay this player? Can I really pay United and you get me Aaron Bissaka? This is the beauty of having teams that are really going in for a bidding war with the player. So I believe that's another positivity of a match is coming in late, but the Englishman says better late than never. So I believe Aaron Wan Bissaka is one of those that is so much wanted by very many clubs and Wolverhampton Wanderers is really one of the teams that really wants him. Remember Wolverhampton Wanderers have a new manager in Lopatogui who was playing who was the manager at Sevilla and I believe because Sevilla has been taking close to, I think, two United players on loan, there is a very good, good understanding between Lopetegui and Manchester United, and this will see him win this race. He took Anton Martial on loan, and then Alex Telles was on loan at Sevilla, and later he was, he was what he was sacked from that club. Now. I think he knows how to deal with United to get in Aaron Bissaka and he could go on and get some other players from Manchester United on loan if at all he wants them and Eric Ten Hag is willing to release those players to him. So that is the Portugui for you and Aaron Bissaka, interest registered by Wolverhampton Wanderers, but Eric Ten Hag is smiling and smiling. We have been told by Grammy Bailey, United boss Ten Hag is happy to sanction Aaron Bissaka's exit as he hopes to bring in a new right back of his own during the January window. Now, what else could make a manager happy by seeing a player that he had always wanted to move out of the club go and then get in a player that he wants? That nothing. So I think he's so much happy and elated about the decision made on a player known as Arunan Bisaka and is leaving the club. Obviously, let's wait and see how the right back situation is going to be solved at Manchester United. It needs to be tackled immediately because Dalo has returned today. We don't know the reason as to why he has returned at Carrington, whether his injury is need, needs to be assessed or scanned, whether the injury was not all that bad, but it looks like we are vulnerable in that position. If at all, we are only playing with Diego Dalo. The moment he gets an injury, we have no backup right back at the team. Now, I told you that Rafael Verani is really one of those players that got or contracted a virus that is really making him have a running tummy. So we've been told today that he has not been able to make it to the training ground and he, he was absent from the France training day and stayed inside the team hotel. That is Rafael Verani and it's being reported by RM Sport from France. As I told you, it's bad. It's very bad. For Rafael Verani because he has always been disturbed by injuries and they've kept him they kept him out of very many games. But now it's a different case altogether. It's the virus eating him down 
let's wait and see whether he's going to be fit for the game france is going to be playing against argentina on sunday thank you guys for watching in through tell me your reactions on five on 50 million pounds plan bid by manchester united for Cody gapko then aaron Wan bisaka wanted by wolverhampton wanderers ten hag jubilated do you want him out for me i want him out you already know my answer but i'm waiting for yours too in the comment section below and don't forget let me know what you think about rafael verani contracting a virus and how it affects united negatively and especially france because they are just 24 hours away from playing their champions league final against against argentina that is really fully that is really having a fully fit squad with Lisandro Martinez representing for United. Last video of the day. Good night. Don't forget to say a prayer. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you abundantly. I'm out.